semantics are important and the left hemisphere, the dominant hemisphere in, in the vast majority of us is critical to, to semantic expression and comprehension of language. But maybe semantics is a little overplayed. In fact, a great deal of what we understand from each other depends on, on properties beyond the actual words that we use. So properties such as body language, facial expression, context, and then also properties of speech such as loudness or timing or, uh, or pitch, all of this um, really contributes a great deal to what we understand about the, the things that um, somebody is trying to communicate to us. And the uh, example of, examples of this are very plentiful. Um, in the movie world, I would recommend that you uh, watch Les Triplets de Belleville. And in that movie, there, is, there are actually two, two words, rendezvous, which are only comprehensible, comprehensible to somebody who speaks French. But um, the entire movie is perfectly comprehensible by context and prosody and body language and action. Uh, so we can communicate without words and we can communicate um, better with words if we add a property called prosody. So prosody is uh, is the everything that we do to how we speak all the inflection, the timing, and the loudness. So everything that we that makes it something different from a machine reading a, a, a piece of text. Okay, so what? How do we produce prosody, and how do we understand prosody? Well, it turns out that in the right hemisphere, we have a system that mirrors the system for semantic content in the left hemisphere, and so. Uh, Back here, where Wernicke's would be in the left hemisphere, we have an area which is critical to comprehension of prosody, and an area up here which is in an analogous place to Broca's area, which is uh, critical for production of prosody. You can have lesions in one of the strokes or brain tumors or some type of injury to either one of these places and the semantic content and the semantic understanding of language will be intact, but somehow people won't, a person, for instance, with a, a damage back here, won't, per, won't interact with others as well as they did before because they're not able to read them. They're not able to read their emotional meaning. I mean, um, understand what I mean, not what I say. And that is in fact how we communicate. What we mean, what we intend is the emotional content and that is arguably uh, as strongly influenced by the right hemisphere um, or even more strongly influenced by the right hemisphere than it is by the actual words that we choose to use. So uh, lesions here can, can reduce um, the either comprehension or the production of prosody, but in turn that can lead to social problems, problems interacting with others. Because what is language? Language is our ability, is our is the avenue that we have to communicate with others. And so if we can't communicate, if we can't understand others, we can't read them, and if we can't communicate to them, we uh, end up more socially isolated and more socially just not, things are not working. Things are not working on all, uh, firing on all pistons in, in the social arena. So this is a, 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 a major uh, issue. Um, and you can see somebody who just withdraws from a social environment. And you might see this in the elderly, they withdraw. And one of the things that one should check for are make sure that they're hearing okay, um, and make sure that they haven't had a, simply a stroke in one of these comprehension or, or in the right hemisphere in an area that's not producing very obvious aphasia, but is interfering with their ability to use and understand language. Now on this page, you'll see a link and it has uh, 
a, an excerpt from um, a friend of mine reciting Jabberwocky. And his recitation of Jabberwocky is filled with prosody. So much so, I mean, pros the Jabberwocky is a poem that doesn't have a whole lot of semantic content anyway, but um, you can totally understand the meaning, the import, the, the emotion behind uh, the performance by uh, listening to his animated uh, performance so what that tells you is that the communication there is dominated by prosody and very minimally influenced by actual language. Mm -hmm.